camera A. Rolling. Oh. Okay, I could do that. Camera Roll B, it. soft sticks. <laughs> Why are you trying to be all serious? As soon as the camera's on, you switch it. So we're going to introduce our first artist. He's, he likes the element of mystery, so apparently I'm not allowed to introduce him. <laughs> Welcome to the documentary about Marshall. You know, I am a tourist, I'm the king of the castle, I'm 25. I am a human being, basically, I am an artist, and you know, you can't see it. I'm a two time award nominated music artist and an actor, I'm a model, even though I go full throttle on these mother effing freestyle lyrics. I'm the best to ever do it, I'm the best that ever did it. So, word, it is time for the Marshall documentary, and ain't nothing out here that nobody's ever telling me, you heard? Yes. Word. Now we all know everything about you. Mm. Not quite. Done! <laughs> <laughs> the stage is the happiest place on earth that I can be. Now, whenever I have a microphone in my hand, like, nothing else matters. I got introduced to music through a life changing album that my dad gave me when I was six. That's what made me want to do music from that point onwards, because, like, it was just the understanding of how harmonies work. I um, went to a lot of Congress church as a kid like every Sunday. Before I made the conscious decision to not go to church anymore, it definitely played a very major influence in me as a musician and just being able to do the things that I'm doing now in regards to like, you know, my production techniques and how I sing great like, harmonies or how I rap even. I'm going to plug my headphones into my interface, which is six years old. I literally got the focus right interface in 2016 along with my laptop so this laptop this interface and cubies are six years old like i've literally had this like you know laptop and all this for like six years and it's done me well brighton for me is literally more home like being able to roam around do what i do what i need to do and uh just be around people that love me for me there's been so much that i've been able to do in the six years that i've been here since 19 years old I'm from uh, Houndslow, Houndslow Heath, West London. Um, you know, I grew up in a council estate. Absolutely hated growing up there. And the entirety of London is the birthplace of where all of my traumas began. Anytime I've been back there, I'm having to wash my back everywhere I go. And I don't mean wash my back in the sense of like being tested, because like, you know, I've never been on road, I've never been a gangster. But in the sense of, because of the fact that I'm a very go lucky yet very unconventional type of person, that like having to conform to whatever standard that um, the society in London, like, you know, needs for me to be. Once the show is over and I, and I have to go my separate ways, that's literally when I've got to like, work extremely hard to like calm the buzz and the adrenaline down. And especially because of the fact that I'm autistic and I've got a borderline personality disorder, like, the heightening and the sensory overload that comes with performing isn't always the easiest thing to handle. I'm very um, introverted, believe it or not. Like, you know, I'm just someone that uh, battles with a lot of anxiety, depression, and a lot of um, mental health struggles and just does his absolute best to literally just take each day as it comes. Music has helped me in a number of ways that enabled me to throw the punch back like, no reason, out of it, it's my purpose. It literally gives me an alternate personality and a name for me to be able to, like, tap my energy into when I need to do specific things. M Kudo, CM17, like, you know, whoever the stage persona is that I get into. Who's, who's CM17? Oh, that's the, oh, Speed Demon? Oh, that's the rapper. Yeah. Oh, that's the bars guy. Now, uh... I got a little confession to make. Hey, that's the grime guy. That was my other beast, that was my... Smooth side, now we're gonna yeah, take man. a walk on the dark side. How about that? How about that? No, I don't know that's <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't either. Let's go, let's do this. Remember when I was filming you, you said suck your mouth to me and the camera. Bumba cut. <laughs> <laughs> so when I make it to the weight, that's the wrong thing to me. On the other hand, I don't deserve this. It's just important that I tell the truth for me. 
bruv, like, if, at this point, if people get upset by me telling my story, then it is what it is. For real. Yeah. I'm gonna shake up my waist, had two gloves up, but we're kinda gonna quit.